For which one? For all of them. Did we pay for their health care? Did we pay for their counseling and pampering? Not really. It with depends the... with how their medical cover is structured. Okay. So it's not how we pay, but it's rather the premium. Okay. And I think we need to get it right in the sense that um, it is dependent on the employer. In this case, the PSC. Okay. And, and it applies across board. I don't know if you've seen the protest by the medical uh, fraternity mm -hmm. about Schiff and okay. Shah in the sense that they say they don't want to lose the comprehensive package they had. And you could see the PS, uh, the PS Harry, Public Service oh, uh, today one. was giving, issuing a statement to preempt a strike by the unions, clinical officers, doctors, nurses, about the comprehensive, the comprehensive cover being extended for a few months. Okay. So it's a sticking point. So the same with MPs, it depends with the employer. But the I don't think employer. where we are at the moment mm -hmm. with the transition, they would afford all those benefits. It Not would be now. difficult. We don't have money. We There's don't. no money. And the people's the economist is here. We don't have that money, right? No, there's a lot of money in Kenya. Uh -huh. We just overspend. On other things. we put them in the wrong priorities. Mm. You know, with a budget of 4.2 trillion, Kenya is not poor. And if you look at the sp expenditures, where they are spending the money, my goodness. Let's just be honest. We have a wrong priority in the government. And I'm sure Kipto knows that. If the, if the president was honest, all the benefits could be free health care, there could be free education and there could be lower cost of living. So there's a lot of money. There's a lot of money. Easier said than done. Don't forget something. There's a budget and there's the real money. A budget is a projection. And one of the reasons, now that I was in a county government, one of the reasons why the counties used to soak in a lot of pending bills and debts is because of this anomaly. What is read out as a budget and approved and adopted by the assembly or the parliament here, ultimately at the end of the financial year you need to audit what was raised because they project. Like for the national it's government, yeah. it is dependent on how much they borrow, how much care, how many times do you see quarterly reports? They've already, they've already care, revised it, they've fallen target. short of That's why we do own set targets. That is why we do supplementary budgets. A government of the day does not do less than three supplementary budgets. So my idea, I agree with him on prioritization, yeah. but prioritization Prioritization should come from acceptance of reality that we don't raise the 4.3 trillion. It would make sense we implement what Prof is saying by doing one thing. Let us be realistic how much money we can raise by looking at the last three years and also looking at the vagaries of nature, for example, things like drought, things like uh, even the whatever the money market, how much the government can tap in. How many times have you seen the government going into the market and raising a like quarter or half of what they, of what they expected. But so, keep, so, 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 with the little you can raise, yeah. can you tamper it with the too many requests and demands and focus on the core? That then is when his idea would make more sense for me, Kipto, yeah, yeah. if we would do what the president.